Hey guys, how's your Shield K9? You know what really grinds my gears? When I see people with these reactive dogs and instead of giving the dog the help that he or she so clearly needs, what they do is they almost lean into the identity of the dog being reactive. They, they make the dog into a paper tiger, right? He's so bad. He's so dangerous. He's so terrible. You see this like little one-year-old, you know, German Shepherd puppy wearing a muzzle and, and the owner's acting like, you know, she's got Godzilla on the end of the leash. And instead of saying, you know, let me get this dog the training that he needs, right? Instead, no, no, no. Let's get him a tactical harness. Let's put, you know, 10 do not pet Velcro uh, 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 patches on there. Let's get him a tactical collar with red danger signs all over it. Let's get him 10 different collars, an e-collar, a prong collar, a choke chain, this, that. The, you know, he's wearing a steel basket muzzle. It's just a little scared puppy. Give him some guidance. Give him some training. Stop pretending you've got a gangster on the end of the leash. You really don't. Like 99.9% .9 of you do not. You have a paper tiger on the end of the leash. You, he's a monster in your own mind. He needs you. He's scared. You got to help him. You've got to train him. You, or you got to go to somebody that can help you to help the dog. It, it just, it just boggles my mind. And I see this all, maybe it's a social media thing. Cause I see it a lot on social media. You know, I'm pretty good at reading dogs. So I see this dog and he's just like, he's clearly just a soft, scared little puppy. Okay. And he's wearing all this gear, like, you know, he's about to go into combat. He's a Navy SEAL dog or something, about to drop on Osama Bin Laden's um, compound or something. He's just reactive on the leash. It's, it, it just boggles my mind.